Futures are pointing higher this morning. We'll see if we can, again, you know, we started out on the upside yesterday, sold off. Can we actually come out of the gate today on the higher side, hold that, close the day higher? That would be ideal. Here's what you need to know before the bell this morning, though. Markets did rally just a bit yesterday in the morning and then sold off. And again, this was kind of this struggle of this rally we've had. We came down, we tested support um, in this recent decline. We were down about 5% from the peak. Again, as we talked about recently, you know, that's kind of what we expected. So markets did bounce for a couple of days. A little bit of a pullback yesterday on news. But again, not, nothing really out of the ordinary. There was not a big run of selling pressure. Nothing to really kind of worry about here. Uh, futures are pointing higher this morning. We'll see if we can, again, you know, we started out on the upside yesterday, sold off. Can we actually come out of the gate today on the higher side, hold that, close the day higher? That would be ideal. Um, we're still trying to push up into this resistance of where the 20-day and the 50-day moving average are going to cross. But uh, again, when we take a look at this, we're still on a sell signal at this point. Now, importantly, that sell signal is starting to flatten out. That's actually good news. That suggests that we could be getting close here, a bit more of this kind of consolidation over the next couple of weeks, uh, kind of work off some of that previous run that we had for in, in uh, April, May, and June, work off some of that um, overbought condition. This sell signal kind of flattens out, triggers a buy signal sometime around late September, potentially get us into October. That October, November, December, seasonally strong period we've talked about before. Markets remain oversold here. So again, just be a little bit cautious here. Be a little bit patient. Don't make any knee-jerk reactions. You know, the, the big bear market's not coming back. We're just having a very much needed correction at this point. Actually a good opportunity to look for some, for some areas to add some money into that uh, you've been wanting to do this. Um, one thing that'll be driving the market today and tomorrow, of course, is this whole thing about NVIDIA's earnings and AI and what that's gonna mean. If they miss, that could change this whole dynamic because uh, again, a miss by NVIDIA is going to weigh heavily on the tech sector because of their size in the overall index, but also because of all the hype that's been put into NVIDIA, that's gonna cause a broad sell-off across technology stocks if for any reason, NVIDIA's report doesn't just wow investors. So keep watching that. That is a risk later on today. I don't expect that to happen, but we'll see how that turns out. We'll obviously have something to talk about tomorrow for sure. Uh, but keep watching on that this morning. Again, nothing really to worry about here. It's fine at the moment. Just uh, you know, kind of hold on to what you've got, and then we'll find eventually when we get this buy signal a better entry opportunity uh, to add money into markets. That's what you need to know before the bell this morning. <laughs>